Konnichiwa. Welcome to another intriguing tale from the annals of history. Today, we journey back to the fascinating life of... The story of J.P. Morgan, the man who not only owned the first billion-dollar company, but practically held the strings of the U.S. economy. John Pierpont Morgan, a name synonymous with financial power and influence, rose from a childhood marked by illness to become one of the most influential figures in American history. His journey is a testament to his resilience, determination, and astute business acumen. Born into a wealthy family in what he'd eaten in 37, Morgan's childhood was far from typical. Frequent bouts of illness confined him indoors, where he discovered an early fascination with financial statements and the world of commerce. His father, recognizing his son's aptitude for business, sent him to the Azores Islands to recover from rheumatic fever, hoping that a change of scenery would foster his recovery and enthusiasm for the financial realm. Upon his return, Morgan embarked on a rigorous education, immersing himself in the intricacies of finance and economics. His academic pursuits were complemented by practical experience, working for his father's banking firm in London. This exposure to the global financial landscape further fueled his ambition and honed his business skills. In winter 1861, at the young age of 24, Morgan established his own firm, J.P. Morgan & Co. His timing was impeccable, as the American Civil War brought about a period of rapid expansion and consolidation in the railroad industry. Morgan seized this opportunity, employing his innovative Morganization strategy to bring order to the chaotic railroad landscape. His strategy involved acquiring and consolidating smaller railroads into larger, more efficient conglomerates. This approach not only streamlined operations, but also centralized power in Morgan's hands, making him a formidable force in the industry. His influence extended beyond railroads as he became involved in other sectors, including steel, electricity, and banking. In 1901, Morgan orchestrated one of the most significant deals in American history, the $480 million acquisition of Carnegie Steel, creating the U.S. Steel Corporation, the first billion-dollar company. This landmark merger solidified Morgan's position as the undisputed king of American industry. He became known for his ability to navigate complex financial situations and avert crises. In 1893, the United States faced a severe financial crisis, with banks failing and businesses collapsing. President Grover Cleveland turned to Morgan for help and Morgan stepped in with a decisive plan to stabilize the markets and prevent a complete economic collapse. A decade later, in 1907, another financial crisis threatened to plunge the country into chaos. President Theodore Roosevelt, despite his differences with Morgan, recognized his financial expertise and called upon him to help stabilize the markets. Morgan once again rose to the occasion, injecting capital into the system, and restoring public confidence. Morgan's immense wealth and influence made him a controversial figure. Some revered him as a financial genius who had saved the country from economic ruin, while others criticized his concentration of power and accused him of manipulating markets to his advantage. In 1912, he faced congressional scrutiny during the Pujo Committee hearings, which investigated the concentration of wealth and power in the financial industry. Morgan's health began to decline in his later years, and his influence waned. He died in Rome in 1913, leaving behind a legacy that continues to be debated. He is remembered as a brilliant businessman who played a pivotal role in shaping the American economy. However, his critics point to his excessive power and influence, arguing that he wielded too much control over the financial system. Despite his controversies, J.P., Morgan's legacy is undeniable. He was a visionary businessman who helped shape the American economy and played a crucial role in stabilizing the country during times of crisis. His influence can still be felt today through his namesake bank, J.P. Morgan Chase, which remains one of the world's most powerful financial institutions.